Hey, what's up, guys? Good morning. Uh, I know it's been a few weeks. I got caught up in some stuff, and, uh, and then I got sick, and I'm at the tail end of it right now, so I still got a little of it going on in my throat. Um, but I have been doing some work. Um, I uploaded a couple tweets and all that stuff, trying to hint. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I posted a couple tweets trying to hint, you know, what I was working on and all that stuff. Um, as well as, you know, some bugs and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, I got a couple things. Um, not much, but uh, a couple things in the works that should be out really soon. Um, one of them, uh, people have been asking for this forever. And uh, due to not knowing how to implement it, I've never been able to actually get it working until now and that is the ability for people to take a, uh, a mouse and map it to a virtual controller uh, so you see here now as I'm moving my mouse cursor around my uh, the right stick on that Xbox 360 controller is moving and I had a really weak imp implementation of this like back in 1.5 and um, I was able to do that just by you know uh, grabbing the mouse XY position and calculating that, you know, frame by frame, seeing how much it moves. Um, but that had one huge fatal flaw, and that was if you reach the edge of your screen, your mouse cursor isn't technically moving anymore. So no matter if I kept moving my mouse to the right, uh, the stick wouldn't move to the right because the cursor isn't moving. Well, uh, I've recently figured out how to um, hook the mouse device directly. So even now when I get all the way to the right, if I keep pushing to the right, it still registers the actual delta movement of the physical mouse itself, not just the cursor. So um, this uh, keyboard and mouse as a input device is very plausible. Uh, actually beyond plausible, it looks like it's working. Um, I just have to add more functionality. I have, haven't actually done the keyboard side of it yet, but that's really easy to do because I've already implemented stuff that does low-level keyboard hooks before. Uh, the code should just be mostly copy and paste. Um, but yeah, this, this whole mouse delta thing was the real breakthrough. Uh, it does come with a caveat. Um, anybody that's expecting to have the same feel and snappiness uh, that you get on an actual PC uh, you know, first-party keyboard and mouse title, if you're expecting to get that same kind of experience, I can tell you right now it's not going to be that because the way the way that mouses implement stuff like a uh, delta and momentum and um, weight and all that stuff um, it's it's a lot more than you know just a raw XY position uh, movement of your actual mouse translating to an XY position of a cursor on a screen uh, there is some background stuff that goes into processing a mouse movement and anybody that's used old early version of Windows and notice how much uh, you know like mouse um, accuracy and all that stuff has changed throughout the years it's been mostly software side um, just you know little nuances and all that stuff uh, that and other stuff just you know the way that controllers implement dead zone all this stuff it's not gonna be the same um, but with a little tweaking, those of you that have been asking for it, you might get it to work the way you want. Um, but I'll leave that up to you guys. There'll be plenty of plugins where you guys can control stuff like uh, acceleration and all that stuff. As a matter of fact, I already have a mapping connector for acceleration that I use for maneuvering thrusters um, when I'm using my HOTAS setup for um, Star Citizen. So there's already a mapping connector that actually handles stuff like that. So. Other than that, um, on top of the keyboard and mouse being an input, um, it's also now a output. Um, it's still very much in the early stages as well, uh, but I have gotten um, the mouse movement to work pretty smooth. Uh, that's always the tough part. Um, I think, as a matter of fact, I think I've even got this even smoother than uh, previous implementations and that's because I'm measuring time between frames not just in uh, milliseconds now uh, but now I'm measuring an actual CPU ticks 
uh, which is thousands of times more accurate. So um, the actual amount that a cursor moves, the distance over a certain period of time or the rate uh, will be a lot more accurate. So it won't look as juddery. Um, say the application hits a slow cycle and it has to share the processing cycle with something else um, before that cutback would actually slow the mouse down. Um, but it shouldn't do that anymore now. It should see that, you know, okay, it took us a little longer to get to this cycle, so we're going to add a couple extra pixels in there to make up for it. So overall, that should make it look a lot smoother. Uh, so that is actually um, been tested. It's working pretty good. Uh, so that'll be coming out soon as well. Um, other than that, um, a lot of the big stuff has been website. Uh, <laughs> You guys might have noticed that we did have a server um, meltdown. Um, that was because uh, the backend software, the actual operating system that the server is running on, Sense OS, uh, was reaching the end of its life cycle, um, along with the cPanel and WHM and all the other, you know, like a all the other supporting softwares and backends and frameworks and all that stuff on there. Everything was starting to reach the end of its life cycle uh, and it was causing trouble because uh, newer versions of PHP were having to sort of be shoehorned in uh, rather than being native and it was actually causing a little bit of an overhead issue because um, I was having to set like special MIME types and all that stuff of newer PHP files in order for it to use a new PHP processor rather than the older like 4.0 or 5.0 or whatever anyways all that technical stuff um, the server guys swore to me up and down I talked to them like an entire week before we said okay go ahead pull the trigger they swore to me up and down it would be down for an hour it would be right back and it would work fine there would be no issues well they were full of shit um, but what server admin isn't so uh, long story short it was a really stupid thing that they overlooked and it took way longer for them to figure it out than it should have and the actual fix in the end only took about 10 seconds they had to change an INI setting in a PHP um, in the PHP INI file they changed that rebooted the server and everything was fine so um, really disappointed that it took them that long to recognize the issue and to fix it. Um, it's something that a true server admin team should have, you know, been able to handle much quicker. Um, but all that aside, I am shopping around for another host uh, because that's ridiculous. So um, that is what it is. Uh, but. On the other side, um, I did notice that, you know, it did cause problems with the application that it should not have. Uh, so I did release a fix as soon as the servers came back online. I released a fix um, that should they go down like that again, uh, at least for ImpoMapper 1.7, that shouldn't be an issue anymore. Um, 1.6's code is frozen. Um, that's not getting any changes anymore. So unfortunately, I can't do anything about 1.6. Uh, but 1.7 going forward should not have this issue. Um, so I think that about summarizes it. Um, like I said, I got these two input and output plugins for keyboard and mouse that I got to get out to you guys, uh, as well as a couple other tweaks I've been working on, um, stuff that will lighten the load with server communication, um, other stuff that I'm working on on the website, like, um, uh, being able to store a backlog of previous versions, uh, though I highly recommend people don't use older versions. Um, I do want to have it implemented if there is a certain like special feature that they absolutely need that for some reason I release an update and it breaks. Um, I do want them to be able to roll back. So uh, I'm working on um, like a previous version history and all that stuff on the website. So. Uh, unfortunately, none of the older versions prior to this, I've, I haven't been archiving or keeping any of them. So it'll be like from here on out thing. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, sorry it's been so long to get back to you guys. But like I said, everything kind of happened all at once. So uh, that'll do it. And I will hopefully talk to you guys next week. Have a good one.